Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a backstage tour day. I thought that I would show you the backstage tour of Antigone. Now this is the third Greek tragedy that I've ever designed, but this one has some really interesting features, but we do have a pool. <laughs> so I wanna show you uh, basically how all this stuff was put together. This is a creative idea share that you can watch from there to help you be aware. You can even watch it in your underwear. A creative idea share. Okay, so one of the first things that you notice when you enter the theater is you see this palace, but it's got this interesting drip pool in it. Uh, the audience walks in and they see this pool and there are Grecian urns sitting on these stepping stones. And it's a leaky palace. It's an old leaky temple or something and, and water is leaking in uh, from the, the ceiling. And so there's lots of drips. So we made a drip pool. Now, what this is, is we basically just took a uh, pond lining uh, and, uh, and we found these stepping stones too. So here at Bethany, it just so happened that our uh, landscaping guy had some of these uh, pavers, I guess you'd call them, and they are perfect. He, I went down, uh, down the hill to where he is and there were two pallets full of these rocks. These are just limestone uh, and uh, they're perfect. Our director wanted a pool. She wanted something that it was like earth and water. You know, she wanted, the elements were very important to her. And so uh, we have about two and a half inches of water here. Uh, and this is just a pond liner. So we, we, uh, we ordered from Amazon a pond liner and then we put that in. Uh, and then we, we took some landscaping rock and then just sort of bordered three sides of it, the, the sides that the audience sees. Uh, and uh, that comprised our pool. Oh, and under this, uh, under this liner, and by the way, I do have a double layer of this liner. So here is a little bit more liner. I had some excess and I thought, well, if I'm putting these rocks down on the liner, the last thing you want is a big leak uh, into your basement. And so I put, I, pu I doubled the, the uh, thickness where I put rocks. Underneath the liner, we, we have another layer of defense and that is just some really thick, I don't remember how many mil plastic sheeting under this too. So we kind of did double duty just because water is unpredictable. Water does whatever it wants and we don't want this leaking into our pit area, into our basement. And so uh, we, and, and we have to be really careful that students and I and nobody else walks over this one with any sharp tools. So we don't have any screwdrivers and we make sure that there are no, uh, you know, utility knives or anything like that. We do have to chlorinate it. So we do have to put in those bromine tablets. And the way I do that is I just, uh, we have a five gallon pail and I mix those tablets in a pail and then I strain them and then we pour them in. And then otherwise we just take a hose and we, we fill this thing. Since this is a small pool and only about two inches of water, uh, we just use tap water. We just fill it with tap water. We chlorinate it. Uh, I'll chlorinate it again for the second weekend. Uh, and, uh, and you have to be careful about that because our costumes get in this and you don't want to bleach the costumes. So you have to kind of find the right ratio. But I really love this. Uh, you know, it, there are some characters who walk right through the water uh, and then there are others who just step across the stones. So it's a neat effect. So we've, uh, this is our, our second time attempting a pool. This is a much easier one. Uh, but you know, for a Greek tragedy, it really does lend itself very interestingly to uh, the story of Antigone and, you know, kind of an interesting idea for a Greek tragedy in general. So, drip pool. So I may as well demonstrate uh, how the drips work in the pool. Here I am in the paint room. We've got our sink here and I have basically a, just a, a regulator, a splitter here too. So my assistant stage manager comes on, turns the water on, and we just, we just have him turn it on full blast. 
Uh, and if we need to purge the, uh, the hose that's going above the stage, we can just do this. But, uh, but that's how we turn it on. Then that goes up this hose right here across <laughs> all the paints, out the door, and then up into the catwalks. But let's go out on stage and we can see uh, if this thing actually is dripping. It, it sometimes takes a few minutes. Okay, so here you see, we do have now drips. And they are coming from a single hose, which we have zip tied to one of our bars, one of our travelers, or our, our, sorry, one of our, our battens up there, our line set batten. And, uh, and then we have quarter inch hose coming off of little drip emitters. I'll show you those in a sec. But uh, what a neat effect, you know, and, and we didn't want too many more drips than this because then it started getting really loud and you start to be, you start to have a difficulty hearing the actors. Drippers. Uh, you can find these at your home store. This one drips five gallons an hour. So these ones come out pretty fast. Uh, these are the ones we actually used, and I'll show you this a little bit more close up, but this is 0.5 gallons an hour. But basically, it just drips water onto your, uh, onto your plants. This one's fast. This is like a five or, or two gallons an hour, and there's five gallons an hour. But let's take a look at one of these things. What, what these are, and I think we did it in a way that is a little bit unconventional, but uh, you... You take this and this point gets stuck into your hose. So we just have a plain old garden hose up there. Uh, you take a little tool and you puncture your hose. And then you stick this little barbed end into the hose and then it drips out this little side. So I think we've got about, and these are the, we just used the 0.5 gallons an hour drippers. And, and that gave us these things. So let's go upstairs, I'll show you those things uh, and you can see how we're dripping water into the pool. Okay, so here we are above the set. You can see there's the pool down there. And over here on this line set, is our hose and you can see it dripping right there okay so right here is the line set that has the hose to it we just took a plain old garden hose and zip tied it right to the line set here you can see our hose right here and we've just zip tied it to this this uh, line set bar that we've got and then we've got drip emitters. I got one here, there's one here. Now I want you to notice too that this one is just dripping of its own accord. I mean, there's nothing connected to it. But and then on other ones of these, we can divert the water by taking, basically it's like quarter inch PEX tube. Uh, and then we can, we can put this uh, through the catwalks here. So let me show you here, like this. This is just a cheap garden hose that we just bought. We blocked off the end. The end there is just uh, has a stopper on it. And, uh, and this one's dripping straight out. And this one has PEX tubing that is helping us to divert the water wherever we want. Same thing with this one. So this one has PEX tubing, which then goes over here through the catwalk. This way, we don't just get a straight line of drips. We can, we can have them dripping kind of in, in uh, in, in a pattern that looks a little bit more random. And then we've actually taken some of that, uh, that uh, PEX tubing and put it in front of our grand drape too, so that we can actually have some dripping more out towards the audience too. When you're trying stuff that you haven't seen before, uh, there's always that doubt, can we do this? Uh, and I am just trying to give you a little bit of encouragement that this is very doable. You can get drips going where you want them to go. You can miss the important lighting instruments that you don't want to get wet. Uh, and, uh, and it's not anywhere near as complex as a rain curtain or anything like that. Uh, and 
Audiences dig this. They really, really do like when they enter the theater and there's a surprise. It makes the room smell interesting. I mean, it's, uh, you can almost taste the air. So there's something very, uh, I don't know, organic about this when you walk into the theater and you've, you've got this whole drip line going. So anyways, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more information on how to make a drip pool and how to get drips dripping into it. So, hey, if you enjoyed that, uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, let me know if you have any other suggestions in the comments. I would love to know that. Uh, until next time, you guys, my name's Pete. You're watching It's a Creative Life. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.